right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Platinum Mike Perry and Mickey Gall. All right, so here is the undefeated New Jersey native, Mickey Gall. He has called his shot several times in the UFC, and when he has done so, he has emerged victorious. Beat CM Punk, rear naked choke. Did the same against Sage Northcutt back in December of 2016. We've also seen him make great strides when it comes to his striking. So Mickey Gall, evolving into a well-rounded mixed martial artist, will see just how far he can take this thing in the UFC welterweight division. This guy is an arm bar and a leg lock specialist. In every fight that you see him in the octagon, he looks to secure a limb and finish with a submission. So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off of the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. This guy is a dirty boxing specialist. Look for him to utilize the clinch and then employ dirty boxing technique, devastating uppercuts and elbows from close distance. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Both fighters are 26. Some differences in height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC Walter White Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of four wins, one loss. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Mickey Gall! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, three losses, and four no contests. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Orlando, Florida, Mike Platinum Perry. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Ben Bergliotta. Dan Mergliotta, your referee. Are right, you ready? You ready? Let's All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. All right, here we go with round one. Mickey Gall, the New Jersey native, is ready to go. He's a patient fighter. He is wise beyond his years. There's no doubt about it. Also brings with him the confidence of being an undefeated fighter. We'll see if there's an uptick in the aggression, particularly in round one here tonight. And he connects there. Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. All right, so here we go with round one. There is no denying just how much power this fighter has in his kick. So let's see how early he chooses to attack with it. Does he go low to the leg? Does he go high to the head? Let's see how the early portions of this fight play out. Tags him with the left. Wow, that was a quick takedown. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Oh, ground and pound elbow to the head. Nicely done to posture up and then land with full power. Half guard here. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's got a half guard here. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Perry. Almost hits him with that left hook. And he lands a nice kick. Oh, 
Double jab. Well, he is eternally aggressive, but he paid for it there. His head was wide open, and his opponent is able to land the uppercut there. He's going to have to figure some things out here, Joe. Manage his wrist better. I know he's confident in his chin, but right now he's becoming a sitting duck. In on a single here. And again, shoots for a takedown. Again, takedown stuff. Look at that straight right. Oh, nice knee. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Perry. Very nice. Gall's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, Perry gets lit up by that straight punch. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Gall. He's in full guard here. Looking for a triangle. Throws one leg over the shoulder. Grabs his ankle, pulls down on his shin, throws his other leg over. He wants to lock it in place. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Any second now, he might be forced to tap. This triangle is locked in tight. That's and there it is. is. He got the choke for the tap. So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep. Perfect technique. And ultimately, that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. And one more time, beautiful technique here on this triangle for the victory. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bugliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke, Mickey!